Hey everybody, this is Dr. Flight, and uh, this topic is implementing for-profit cause marketing. Um, so this is from the perspective of a for-profit organization, and the for-profit organization uh, wants to develop a game plan for working with, dealing with nonprofits, and specifically adopting a cause that would um, help leverage opportunities in the marketplace um, and present um, present a, a component of their corporate social responsibility platform and so forth. So um, the point then purpose of this talk then is to uh, talk a bit about activating and implementing cause marketing programs within an organization. Um, so these are just um, tips and uh, elements that we think about that help benefit the for-profit organization um, to get the most out of a social cause uh, or cause-related marketing program that they that they have. So within a for-profit organization, there are internal mechanisms that happen. So if you think about silos, for instance, um, that are components of an organization, um, th that's what we're looking at uh, when we think about these internal mechanisms. And due to organizational structure issues, firms often have an a, a inability or difficulty to communicate across these uh, different tasks. So we have like, for instance, operations and we have shipping and procurement and accounting and uh, finance and uh, marketing, uh, sales, advertising, public relations. We have all these different departments and groups. And one of the challenges for any business then is to get them to all work in concert with each other um, and not have contrasting goals. So like somebody in operations may be really focused on lowering operations costs, but when you lower operational costs, you may be lowering product quality. And so people in sales are really concerned with product quality because product quality has an impact on how many units are sold. If the, if the market perceives poor quality in the product, then we can't charge as much from a pricing perspective. And that, that has an impact on our finance friends. Um, and uh, so, and sales and, and things like that. So there's an interrelatedness uh, between all the different operations within the firm, but challenging this is that not all these operations are on the same page all the time. So leaders need to unify firms, quote unquote, siloed divisions. Um, so this is often a leadership issue with the CEO or CMO or the leaders of the organization who should um, align the organization uh, with, uh, with, with goals that make sense across each of the different siloed areas. Um, we talk in management a lot about this idea of cross-functional organizational strategy where you have teams of individuals who come from different departments to solve problems and things like that. One thing to think about though is that if you have a cause that is supported across um, the organization, um, then that is something that the organization can come together to unify um, the organization with. So a unifying vision may help um, connect, if you will, um, cross fu functions, across functions. And um, maybe this unifying vision could be a social cause um, that could, again, help uh, employees across the organization uh, find commonality with each other. So for sure, this makes sense. As we begin to think about from the nonprofit organization how a cause can integrate into the uh, their the organization and serve a purpose of unifying the the organization across a, uh, a same vision or same mission, there are a number of different um, for-profit questions that can be asked um, in terms of how this partnership and relationship we're going to have with a nonprofit or with a cause is going to integrate into the organization. So 
how do I get my target audience to emotionally connect with my brand as a result of this association with a nonprofit? So when we brand, we are creating an image or a feeling that's associated with our product or our name or our company or brand, whatever. Um, and that emotional connection can be um, generated and exasperated, if you will, through um, through the connection of a social cause. We can use the social cause, in other words, to position our brand emotionally uh, with a marketplace. So we want to ask how that can be done and if that's what we want to be able to do. Um, can we use our relationship with a nonprofit to generate incremental sales? That is, in other words, I have customers already. Can I have these customers be more engaged with us as a result of the relationship that we have with a nonprofit? That's what we want to achieve, and that's something that we'll want to leverage. Can I get my franchisees to do the same thing? And so it's not that I just want to sell more product, I want to be able to get more buy-in from my dis distribution channel and channel partners as well. Um, as a result, not only am I, you know, developing the relationship with a nonprofit to help um, unify divisions within my own organization. I also think about this from an external perspective. Um, how can I get my customers more engaged with us? But also, how can I get my partners like my retailers and my wholesalers and suppliers and such how can i get them more involved with us as well and can i use this relationship to be able to do this how can i better use social media channels again how can i leverage this relationship with a nonprofit to be able to um, better uh, communicate and form networks of relationships with uh, the social social media outlets Finally, how can I better amplify my existing marketing efforts? So I'm already advertising. I'm already promoting. How can I use this uh, as an implementation tool? How can I use our relationship with a nonprofit or a social cause to be able to uh, leverage the marketing efforts that I'm already already conducting? How can I make them more meaningful? And so a lot of times we look at um, the type of messages that we're offering, the integrative marketing communication kind of concept, and, and how can I continue to leverage that in order to create um, a, a better image, again, position the product, uh, more engagement with the customer, and so forth. So as we look at integrating um, and developing a relationship with a nonprofit, if I'm the for-profit, I need to be uh, also thinking about how this relationship is going to impact a lot of the other functions that we have within the organization. Certain elements will help us guide these decisions as we move forward. So forming credible and genuine partnerships. Um, if we um, are sincere in our relationship with the nonprofit, it will be clear to our market that that sincerity and that genuineness will come through and engagement will be a lot stronger. We want to create and put into practice a social purpose that complements other non-social business purposes as well. So um, now it's not that we're marketing in order to sell more product. We're doing that, but we're marketing because we have a greater social um, objective and, and uh, purpose, and that rings truer and it provides more of a genuine relationship between us and our customers and our employees. We want to integrate social cause partnerships throughout the firm uh, beyond marketing and communications. Remember that silo issue. We don't want to get uh, to, into the mindset to say, well, we're doing this promotion with a, or we're doing this collaboration with a nonprofit, but that's really marketing's thing. We want to get away from that and consider it as a holistic organizational activity that spreads across all of the different dimensions of the firm, not just one area. We want to think long term and big. So from a for profit perspective, and we also actually have the same concept that the nonprofit should have as well. But from a for profit perspective, 
when we engage in a relationship, we want to think of it as something that will endure over time and that we want to be able to um, get the most out of it as opposed to just having like one of those transactional relationships or philanthropic relationships. We want it to be an integrative relationship from our perspective. The, non, the nonprofit feels the same way, incidentally. They should want to also have the same perspective. We want to use or leverage our assets within the relationship fully. Give your full attention to the partnership. Um, so we want to leverage this relationship for our needs. Um, we also want to do good for the nonprofit and we want to do good for the social cause. But we're getting into this relationship to um, serve uh, first order um, goals and objectives and results uh, and second order ones as well. But at the end of the day, we're looking to um, manage our brand, position our brand, um, open ourselves up to new markets, sell more product, gain market share, uh, gain profit uh, profit margins. You know, those are the things that we're looking to do. And this activity that we're engaging with in the nonprofit needs to, needs to help us do that. We want to engage our customers, allow customers of our cause to be a hero. So this is actually a really important point that I don't want to understate at all. Um, if you want to gain the most exposure for your relationship with a nonprofit, um, the for-profit has to um, empower the customer to feel like they are the ones doing the work. Um, so in other words, um, when when we offer a donation for every purchase of a product, um, you know, it's the customer that's making the purchase and the customer needs to feel like they are making the donation. It's not the firm, it's not the for-profit organization, it's the customer that's making the transaction happen so that the good can be done. And if the customer is has the feeling that they are the ones um, making the contribution, doing the work, they are the hero, then that engenders a stronger uh, feel for uh, the, the entire process. And that that is a stronger and better uh, you know, type of a collaboration. And the yield will be stronger for the for-profit when that happens. Finally, in terms of the organization, and remember the unifying vision that a, a relationship with a nonprofit has, remember that um, we want to celebrate successes. We want to make a big deal out of doing good. It's okay to celebrate. It's okay to announce. It's okay to um, toot your own horn when good things are done. And that should be done in, in, in a for-profit organization. So in other words, if we enter into a partnership with a nonprofit and we have a great event and we raise a lot of money, that's not just doing business as normal. It needs to be celebrated as a big deal, as a big accomplishment, um, because that boosts morale and it creates much, much greater enjoyment and um, impact uh, for employees and also channel partners and everybody who's involved with the entire relationship. So don't feel bad about making a big deal about the partnerships and especially the successes that are had. So this is going to be the last thing we talk about. And again, we're, we're, we're from the for-profits perspective on the relationship between for-profits and non-profits. Um, some of the other videos and lectures and the other topics take the perspective of the non-profit and how the non-profit should view these relationships. Um, but when we talk about cause marketing, we're almost exclusively talking about the perspective of the for-profit. and. And, you know, again, I preface this not to be too opportunistic, but nonprofits have assets that can help a for profit and it's fair to share. <laughs> so that's kind of a fun, fun line to say, you know, the for profit is doing this, you know, partly because they want to do what's right. They're altruistic and they have good intentions, but they also have for profit missions and objectives that need to be met and the nonprofit has assets that can be used and leveraged to help the for-profit 
meet its goals and objectives uh, as well. So it shouldn't be viewed as a bad thing to leverage those assets. It should not be viewed as um, uh, as mean or mean spirited to say, look, I'm partnering with a nonprofit and that nonprofit has access to uh, donor bases and it has access to uh, influential people and it has access to uh, things that we can use um, to help us do our business. So um, we need to be able to tap into those things. And there are a few that we can talk about. So profit, so, so for-profit organizations should look to leverage things like the nonprofits digital and social media platforms. So nonprofits have websites, nonprofits have social media, and the for-profit should certainly look as a partner to be a part of that and have a presence there. We should look to have an access to nonprofit donor lists. Now, keep in mind, this is sometimes a no-no. There are some nonprofits who would not be willing to share a donor list with a for-profit. So don't get your feelings hurt if you don't get that, but that should be something to at least ask for. Um, newsletters that are distributed to the donors or, and to the nonprofits market-based we should be having a presence on those. Having event sponsorships and partnerships should be something that we have access to. Third party collaborations as well. So in other words, if the nonprofit does um, business with somebody else, then we could do business with that somebody else as well because of our relationship with the nonprofit. Um, and then finally, validation. Uh, with nonprofit executives and executive support. So if the nonprofit has some high level board of directors or individuals who are in the leadership uh, reins of the of the nonprofit, then it's perfectly fair for the for profit to collaborate with them and to socialize with them and to work with them as partners to expand for profit business opportunities. Um, so again, it, it may sound, this page, this information here may sound self-serving, and yes, it is to an extent. It is self-serving, um, but at the same time, um, it's okay if you're providing a benefit to the nonprofit to also benefit yourself. So um, this is delicate, and this is a, an important um, thing because, again, you want your relationship to be genuine, um, and you want to genuinely help the nonprofit and the cause, but at the same time, there's no reason why you can't benefit at the same time from, from that relationship. So um, wrapping this up, uh, the summary then is we have uh, this idea that we want to align the for-profit internally um, you know, and this is a managerial issue that happens all the time where we have um, siloed or, or independent departments not working together. But the idea that we could potentially use a nonprofit social cause to join together our, our elements is certainly is certainly uh, kind, kind of a kind of a concept. Um, we have lots of different ways we want to use the nonprofit to help our internal organizational structure. Um, we also want to be able to use the nonprofit um, to um, market better, to, to develop stronger channels of operation, um, to energize and excite our market base and so forth. Um, finally, we want to be able to um, not be shy about being strategic in how to use nonprofit assets. Um, how can the nonprofit um, help us position our product, um, establish better business uh, relationships with other folks, develop partnerships for events, third party collaborations, and so forth. Um, that's kind of that last element, the last thing that we talked about. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and um, again, reach out to me if you um, if, if there's something that wasn't clear or whatnot. Be sure to read along in the text and um, make sure you're taking notes. Reread or rewatch the videos as needed. Thanks. Have a great day.